Hey there, CPO here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the dual of the noise canceling headsets. I've sort of been looking for a, uh, a headset that I can use not only for phone calls, but also was looking to see if there was maybe something I can use for recording video. So I found an app that will allow me to record a Bluetooth microphone, which means any of the normal Bluetooth headsets you'd get for your phone, uh, it will record that audio and I can use that in my videos. The reason I came across that idea is when I did a going jogging video a little while back, I had my GoPro camera sort of out. It was, it was uh, driving naked, uh, so I didn't have any doors or top or anything on. And I had the camera far away from me and all you could hear in the camera was wind noise. So I couldn't use any of that footage of me talking to the camera. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if, oh, now my phone's ringing. Hello, it's Chris. Hey, good man, how's it going? Sorry about that guys. So anyway, I thought it would be really cool to have a way to record that audio uh, wirelessly. So I started looking at Bluetooth headsets and I didn't realize that I was going to be getting something that I could actually have a phone conversation in the Jeep, no doors, no top, driving down the freeway. Like that blows my mind. So I have two here that I picked to compare. And uh, one of them is the Blue Parrot. This is the B350XR. And uh, this is the Plantronics Voyager 5220. It's a 5200 series, uh, but the 5220 is a Best Buy version that has a uh, car cigarette adapter uh, in there. They're pretty comparable, obviously, in features, but in size, there's quite a big difference. So one is a very discreet, um, in-the-ear, uh, short boom model, and then one is a, is a huge, over-the-ear Britney Spears model. And so I wanted to see which one was gonna actually work for me at noise canceling, because that was the primary goal. I wanted this one to be the one that was the best because I liked that it. it was smaller, uh, simpler design. For example, for the power button, it's a simple on-off uh, slider, which is nice. This one has several buttons on the side and it's actually harder to feel uh, how to use. So ergonomically, I like this one. As far as being able to hear the audio, this has got an in-ear uh, plug. This one is an over-the-ear design. So depending on which one you find more comfortable, I tend to find the over-the-ear more comfortable, but I usually can hear better with the in-ear. So there's all those things going on. They can both be worn left or right. They're ambidextrous. You can uh, switch them around. Uh, like in this one, you can flip it so it runs on the left side or the right side. They both do that. They both have a significant uh, battery life. This one, I think, is, is more battery time. But uh, really, I just wanted to hear the difference in the Jeep. Because if you've ever tried to make a phone call, for example, uh, using your phone, uh, driving down the road, even with the top on, if you have a soft top, uh, it can be challenging. Uh, if you're trying to use a hands-free, uh, it's almost impossible. Like I almost, I will try and take a phone call hands-free, uh, whether I had the Uconnect in the factory or my Sicane uh, as an aftermarket option. And at highway speeds, there's just too much noise. People can't hear me. So uh, I gave up doing that. Uh, I will pick up and hold the phone, which is illegal in most states uh, to, be able to, to be able to talk to somebody. But if I do any sort of hands-free option, it just doesn't work. Um, so let me show you the results of these two. We'll start out with this one, the Voyager, and uh, you can hear how that sounds. And then I'll switch to this one and I'll kind of go back and forth. You be the judge. Actually, right now, make your prediction. Which one of these is gonna have better noise canceling? Um, this one uses, I don't know, six microphones. Uh, they both have some strange active canceling technology. I don't have the stats in front of me, uh, I'll, I'll put them up on the screen right here so you can look at them. Um, but the Blue Parrot uh, supposedly has 97% noise reduction. They claim to be the best. The, uh, the Voyager from Plantronics, they claim to be the best, you know. So which one really is best at blocking out that wind and road noise that we have to deal with? Make your guess. Make your prediction right now in the comments. Do it. Don't watch the video yet. Make your prediction. Pause the video. Make your prediction. All right, now that that's done, uh, let's put it to the test. Now, in the video clips you're about to see, I've done zero uh, audio manipulation. I didn't adjust levels. Um, I didn't uh, 
I didn't adjust equalizer, I didn't raise or, or lower uh, bass or treble, uh, I didn't do anything. I didn't do noise reduction. These are straight out of my recording off the phone. All right, guys, so this is the Voyager 5220 from Plantronics. Now, what I like about this one is it's a much more compact design and uh, just goes over the ear, doesn't wrap around the whole head or around the neck. Um, you can see I wear glasses and a uh, ball cap often, so it seems to work well with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you experience different speeds with me as I sort of talk through what the speed is. So this is 40 miles an hour right now, and uh, I have no doors, so this is sort of a normal case scenario for me. This is more wind noise than most of you will deal with on a phone call. And that's really what we're trying to solve here is, can you actually have a phone conversation in a Jeep in the summertime when you, you know, may not be fully enclosed? Those of you that run Jeeps with soft tops know it's hard enough even with the soft top on, let alone with the top down and the doors off. So I do have a, um, a Safari top on, so, uh, but I think the doors, give us a pretty good representation of the noise that's associated with this. So this is still 40 miles an hour. I'm going to bump it up to 50. Alright, this here is 50 miles an hour. Probably a lot more of that wind noise. The question is, not how well do you hear me in this video, not how clear is this versus my normal like GoPro recording, but can you have a phone conversation like this? Then I'm going to be doing the same sort of a test with the other headset that I'm checking out, which I'll uh, show you here uh, soon. So that's 50 miles an hour. I'm going to slow down here because I have a stop sign. from a start. Alright, anyway, so back to 40 miles an hour. Can I have a logical phone conversation? Here in a second, though, I'm going to take you to the freeway. And we're going to hit 60 miles an hour. See if you can hear anything. And by the way, just for comparison purposes, this is 30 miles an hour right here. Should be a non-issue. The only thing that would pop up would be engine noise. Um, sometimes at the lower speeds, the engine has a deeper rumble in the exhaust, for me anyway. Um, but you can get a sense now of the background traffic as cars are passing, buses are passing. I mean, even at low speeds in an open vehicle like the Jeep, phone calls can be a real challenge. But I'm looking for the solution right now. All right, let's hit the freeway, see how this works out. I'm not looking for miracles here. I don't know if there's any headset that's going to be able to overcome the freeway. All right, this is 50 miles an hour. Listen to this footage. 
All right, guys, so this is the Blue Parrot B350 XT. Uh, this is an over-the-head design, over-the-ear design, for those of you that don't like the, uh, the headphones that insert into the ear. It has a larger boom mic, so it does look more like uh, you're a lead singer in a boy band, or maybe you're piloting a uh, fancy aircraft of some sort. Um, it clamps over, in this case I have it over my hat, um, and works okay with glasses. This one um, is very popular in the trucker community. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna take the same sort of a uh, method. I'm gonna drive at different speeds, and then I'll talk to you during that time and see how well it actually reduces the uh, background noise. So this is 37 miles an hour here. We're getting ready to get on the freeway, 38, 40. So 40 miles an hour right here. And um, I'm just gonna talk to uh, give you something to listen to, 45 miles an hour. All right, now we're gonna hit it and see how it really does. All right, here's 60 miles an hour right here. And so I'm not even sure if you can hear me right now. Again, this test isn't designed to see if I can have a conversation on the freeway necessarily, but it is designed to find the limits of these noise canceling headsets in this sort of an environment. So I'm 62, 63 right now, um, which would be a normal sort of around town cruising speed for me, 65. So this particular headset does have more software features. It's got a software button that you can program and uh, you may like that. I kind of prefer simple things. Uh, I like a lot of features, but what I find is I end up not using them. I default back to the simplest like use scenario. So even though it has a lot of capabilities, I may never use it. All right, 48 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour right here. And uh, same atmospheric conditions, same traffic conditions as the test with the other Bluetooth. I'm doing these back to back so that all the variables as many of the variables as I can, can be eliminated. All right, we're coming off the freeway here. I'll slow things down a little bit. All right, we're down to 40 miles an hour. Actually, I think both headsets are probably gonna be really well uh, suited for that 40 mile an hour around town conversation. My big question is what happens at that 50 and 60 mile an hour? I think that that's where things are gonna to start to become a lot more challenging for these headsets. All right, so to be honest with you, I was so impressed with the original highway test, I put the top back. So I've got the full open air experience now, uh, wind coming in the top and the sides and from the back. So let's see how it does now. Because I got to say, I was impressed. I did not expect it to work as well as it did on the highway. Alright, so I'm at 50 miles an hour. 55 miles an hour. The airflow is a little bit different with the top on. We'll see how much of a difference it makes with the headset. All right, so here we go with the blue parrot with the top off 50 miles an hour. I wonder if it makes a difference, though, with that extra airflow coming in from the top.
supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Now I'm down to 30 miles an hour. Some people do prefer an over-the-ear or an on-the-ear speaker. Uh, I personally like it, but it does get hot faster. Um, the in-the-ear gets uncomfortable faster because uh, it's just in the ear. But I'm used to that. I wear in-ear monitors a lot. I like over-the-ear, but like I said, it heats up. My ear gets hot. So that's something to consider as well. On top of the voice quality and the noise cancellation capabilities is just how comfortable is it to wear. So anyway, guys, that wraps up the road test. Let's get back uh, and, uh, and close this video out with some final thoughts. All right, so what did you think? I was surprised. And actually, at first I thought this was the better one. And then I went back and reviewed the footage and found this one is actually the better one. It's crazy. But I was blown away at how well uh, this worked. I'll put some links in the description uh, for Amazon. Uh, you can get them both at Best Buy. They're arguably going to be more expensive at Best Buy. Uh, but uh, yeah, go check out the links I have. And you know, if this is something you're looking for, this might be a good fit for you. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.